Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the NJ Podcast. This podcast aims to share stories, tips, and insights about achieving success while having fun. From topics ranging from personal development to business, entertainment, and sports, the podcast will have conversations with experts and people in their respective fields. The podcast will also share insights from Jabra James's published and upcoming books. The tagline, which is the theme of the podcast, is success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal. This means that you are doing what you have always wanted to do because it is aligned with your highest values and this is the only way you can live a truly fulfilled life. Your host, Jablo James. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode on the NJ Podcast. Remember that the theme of the show is that success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. That means that you're going after what you always wanted to go after because it's aligned with your highest values. That's the only way you can live a truly fulfilled and inspired life. Uh, and uh, today we're going to, we're joined again by Mukundi Mudal. What's good? Good What's to have good? you on. Good to have yeah, you on. Yeah. Good to have you on. You know his other name. If you don't know his other Thank name, you. it's Bukundi Model, in case you know. In case, now, now you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, now you know. Thank yeah. you very much. Yes, Andy. yes, yes. He talks sports and uh, welcome to the 103 Podcast Network. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah he yeah. does. He just finished his fourth episode. His fourth episode. Uh-huh. You'll become the GOAT when you do your fifth one then because people quit after number four. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. So don't call him <laughs> on a Saturday on a Sunday because other men are going to be ruining his life. That's what they're uh, gonna be doing. Man, I don't know why I let men ruin let men ruin my life yeah, and I don't know why I place my happiness in the hands of men when I am a man myself and I know what we do. Yeah, we, we disappoint when <laughs> And they never fail to disappoint. And, and we do it well. And we Bro, and we do it well. Impeccably. Yeah. Impeccable. Yes, yes. They yes. do it so Like even your vocabulary went up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have to let you know that. No, yeah. No, no, no. I have to put it eloquently when I tell you about how disappointed I am. Uh, yeah, 100%. Like I'm a, I'm a long time Chelsea supporter. I can't even talk that much. Um, yeah, we're, I said all I need to say. We're, 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 an, we're an atrocity. This is called what it is. <laughs> <laughs> we are an atrocity. We are like the 2022 Lakers. That's yeah. what we are. Well, that's what that. Damn, you know. can pick any Lakers after 2020, and I'll still say damn. I'll just pick the one with Russell Westbrook and AD and, and Melo, and they didn't and even make, they didn't even make the playoffs. They didn't even make the playoffs. They didn't make the playoffs that season. No, they didn't even make the play in. LeBron yeah. came and said, "I don't like the play in." He didn't even make the play in. And then, the, and then the year they went to the playoffs with the play in, I was like, "I think it's a great idea." Shout out Adam. Uh huh. And like, then when the next time they didn't, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's all fun until it's not going your way. Yeah, you know that's that's uh, yeah. You know how it goes. All fun supporting the Ravens and it doesn't go your way. Anyway, it's my turn. It's my turn. <laughs> I'm all, not laughing with you. It's I, it's fine. I'm, I'm not laughing with it's, you. It's okay. Do you want to know why? Because I will. <laughs> <laughs> But right. Uh, yeah, so he's, we're going to get... Su- you're such a problem. Uh, I am, I am. So uh, we've been uh, talking about the GOAT debate for the past uh, two, two, three episodes, weeks uh, two, three weeks now. Yeah. Um, so uh, on our agenda for today, we mm. want to uh, just talk about GOAT uh, males and GOAT females. And then towards the end, I need you to school me on um, MMA, how MMA works, okay. and a bit on how the NFL works. Okay. Yeah, because I... Serena's the GOAT. Um, yeah, she is. She is. She is. Serena's the coach. She is. She is. She is. If you don't know tennis. Now, <laughs> <laughs> controversial takes. Hey. Yeah, so, uh, so basically I, got, I got some notes here because I, I wanted to think of like, how... Are don't we... lie. You know exactly why you got notes. Why did I get notes? It's my turn. <laughs> it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Edric Patrick Jr. Brady. No, 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 no. How does it go? How does it go? Give me, give me, give me that. Give me that. <laughs> okay it's my turn my turn i've always said there's one man i will not count out in sports and that is one thomas edward patrick brady jr <laughs> or or uh, michael jeffrey jordan <laughs> uh, uh, Let's or as you call him, your phony goat. Your, fo- your phony goat. <laughs> I, I finally uh, remembered what the fofote is. Right? Yeah, what is it? That's from Rob Parker. When he's hating on LeBron. Uh, uh, LeBron hates to stop. 
I was about to say, I feel like Lebr- LeBron gets too much hate. He gets too much hate. He gets too much hate. He's get the for fault means finals failure of all time. Oh, oh. my gosh, the the disrespect on oh. LeBron James' name. I think, nah, bro. As much as it sucks that he <laughs> lost in the finals six, six times. times out of ten attempts, he got to the finals. Ten times. Yeah, he did. He did. Nine times straight. Yeah, and we don't give Magic that the same heat. No, we don't. But the and difference, five, but the difference is that the difference is that Magic has a winning record in the finals. You know what? Fair. Yeah, but fair. But did Magic go to ten straight final, nine straight finals? No, he didn't go to nine straight finals. No, nobody else did. Yeah, and dude, LeBron did it so much. I think people just got used to it. They got used to it, bro. C- CP3. Yeah. Chris Paul has been in the league. 20 years now. Yeah. He's been in the finals once. And Melo he, retired without I, even sniffing. I, and, what, and what happened? And what happened? No, and no, no, no. Happened? I'm just talking about going there. Let's not talk about happy <laughs> wins. <laughs> because no, no, even no. the next day, even the next year, I'm, he was like, I'm yeah, talking I'm about, I'm talking about CP3 and what happened when he got to the finals. He lost, didn't he? They choked. They should have, they had no business losing that final. Oh, no, no. I'm not arguing choke or not. I just want to know what. Oh, he it. lost. Okay, he lost. he lost. Okay, all right. He lost. Uh-huh. And he said, and, the, and he came out after the series and was like, yeah, I'm addicted to playing in the finals now. Oh, okay. Did you go back? Since... It's four years clean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> four years clean. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. oh man. All right. So, uh, we're going to get into uh, greatest athletes of all time and just uh, break it down. Males, mm-hmm. females, and a couple of honorable mentions. It's a nice jacket, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If, if you're listening on, on the audio, just, I don't know, find a way to get to get an image of this man's jacket. Yeah. Really it's a nice jacket. Yeah, yeah, it's a, yeah. It's a nice jacket, you see. You know, like, you know. <laughs> this is how we do things on the show. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right. So, uh, we talked about criteria that we use because, like, in order for you to say someone's the greatest, what mm-hmm. are you going to use that against? Mm-hmm. Um, how are you going to judge that? And it shouldn't be, oh, I just feel that way. Like, <laughs> I just feel he's a coach. But, but what if I feel very strongly about it? Yeah, but based on what? You know what? Fair enough. <laughs> I, I just Touché. feel it. I just feel Touché. it. I, I like just, Ellen Iverson and I feel like he's one of the greatest players to ever play. But I can't even put him in the top 10 or top 20 because he has no rings. Oh, shame. Just one MVP. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So, okay, I get, I get it. It's not yeah, about how I feel. It's sorry, man. Yeah, it's sorry. I will be okay. Ah, sorry, man. We'll be okay. Ah, it's sorry. Normal, <laughs> nah, normal. It's okay. It's okay, man. It's okay. We'll be, we'll be okay. Thank yeah, you. it's okay. You know, Giannis has more rings than he does, right? More rings, more MVPs. Hey, man. Giannis is a better player. Ah, I can't even dispute it. The resumes don't lie. And Scotty Pippen's better than Giannis, I, I think. But anyway. <laughs> Scotty Pippen such is blasphemy. It's not a blasphemy. He's better Scottie than Pippen. he's better than Giannis. Mm-mm. No Scotty Pippen, no Jordan. So, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I Robert Orr is better than Giannis anyway. That's just that that that's just me. That's mm. just me. Those seven rings. Eh? Seven. Those seven rings. Eh? Hey, he's got seven rings and nah, he's that's... been to the finals. That's mad. Though. No, seven it, rings it, is mad. <laughs> I, th- I, I do not actually think, this... I think this guy is undefeated in finals, bro. He, bro <laughs> Houston. <laughs> San Antonio, <laughs> LA, I think he's... I think he's actually undefeated shot in Bob, finals. Bro. I actually think big he's shot undefeated Bob. in finals. But I will say, it's pretty impressive. Seven rings in any era after the 80s. Actually, yeah, maybe yeah. after the 80s. Yeah, it's mad. It's mad, it's mad. Whether you're a star, a role player, he's got I don't th- care. He's got three more rings than LeBron James. Anyway, all right. So so what criteria we're using? Career achievements and records, right? Okay. How many chips did you win? How many Olympic gold medals did you win? Okay. How many playoff games did you win? Okay. World records said, uh, set, longevity and dominance in the sports. I think that's a, mm. a very big one. Mm. Uh, your influence on the sport. Like you were talking about the last week. How influential are you on the sport? Did yeah. you change the game of basketball? Yeah. Right? Or do you change the game or your sport? You saying the Steph Curry is one of the greatest because he changed the game, which I really can't argue. You can't argue. I was waiting for you. I, I saw how you, you should have seen my face when you brought up Steph Curry. I was like, where is he going with this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm agreeing with you. I'm agreeing with you. There. Okay. Uh, versatility and skill. Um, can, can you play multiple different positions? Is it? Are you a one trick pony? Can you do multiple things? Did you know what that LeBron yeah. is the only player in NBA history? Yeah. To be listed at all five major positions. character, uh, or to be listed at all five positions: point guard, shooting yeah. guard, yeah. small forward, power forward, and center. Yeah. At least for for a full season. 
Yeah, wow. at least once in his career. Yeah, I mean, which there was mad. there was one finals, uh, the 2015 finals. Yeah, which they well, lost, but yeah, yeah, I know, like, I know they lost, they lost, they lost, but he led in every statistical category, <laughs> not <laughs> for just his team, oh, not just oh. for the game, the entire oh, series, no, bro, the, the entire series. 20, LeBron in the second run of the Cavs is the best, best LeBron ever. ever. What? What? Wow, he's nah. killing him. Except for the 2013 LeBron. That that was the that guy. That guy was a demonic Le, LeBron. He was Miami LeBron. Miami LeBron 2013. Yeah, no. That's that's the back to back LeBron, isn't it? Yeah, that's a back to back LeBron, yeah. Yeah, no, he was a bad. No, that that, that was a Ray Allen LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> Rebound Bosh. Uh, yeah. So and also like mastery how technical how technically how technical they are. Mm-hmm. Um that's why people like Messi untouched because technically on the on the ball, my goodness. Mm-hmm. Um then also consistency under pressure. Hmm. In those high pressure moments, did you deliver? Can you get it done? I think that's where that's where people are like uh, Jordan over LeBron, because they say, done. "Yeah, he got it done." But I think uh, LeBron is hated too much. He was he is, LeBron he, is clutch. He, he better Ta- get at, at times. Man, it's, it's a team sport, bro. I mean, it's a team yeah, sport. yeah, yeah. And then okay, and then also this is a, here's a big one: cultural and global impact. Oh yes, I did see Cal- that a transcend your sport. Yeah, cultural mm-hmm. and, and global impact. Um, then also your sportsmanship and legacy. Mm. Uh, the cultural and global impact and sportsmanship and legacies are the way I think I'm going to deduct some points for Ugot Serena. I want, but we'll get there. We'll, we'll get there. I want to hear this. Oh, 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 oh. I want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm ready for you there. Uh, um, the lasting impact when you leave the sport. Do we still talk about you mm. when you're gone? Right, Michael Phelps. We're still talking about him now. Mm. You're saying Bolt. We're still talking about him now. Oh, oh, oh! You, you, oh. you, you see my list. Uh, oh. you, you wait till you see my list. <laughs> <laughs> you were uh, hating on Usain just a week. Ago. I wasn't hating on Usain. I was just being controversial. <laughs> you said you said we have got to be controversial. I got a clip of you saying that we have to be controversial, right? And then another Fair. one is adversity uh, overcome, like challenges, injuries, personal struggles. Who did you beat? Who did you beat? And then also. If you lost, how do you able to come back from that setback and the failure? I think personally for me, that's why I don't think I'll ever put Mayweather as the greatest box of all time because how was he able to overcome adversity? Hmm. Like because we don't we don't know how great this man actually is because he's never lost. Fair enough. That's just me. That's Fair just enough. me. I could be wrong, but that could also count in his favor exactly it's like i'm just so, so good, good nobody could beat you the only person that could beat me is myself hey <laughs> and i failed at that you understand yeah that's you understand i'm so good i had to give an mma fight in my last professional fight but still. That, that, that was a money making move it has nothing to do with uh i mean, I mean <laughs> he hasn't stopped boxing crowds because <laughs> money you know he's money. he's Floyd a good, makes he, money, he's so. a goat at making money from sports like he's it, a goat there's no one else he's the goat even yeah. michael jordan needs to take a back <laughs> Floyd money made. Jo- Jordan had to make executive money. Executive money, yeah. Floyd is making, making money, money from, from playing exactly. his respective sport. I, and, and the marketing and the PR and the management, oh. putting on the events. Oh. You know this dude used to walk around with a bag full of a million dollars. I believe it. And I believe that was our PR stunt as well. I know, no, because why would you? The the money Mayweather, yeah, money yeah. Mayweather. Like, the it's his entire thing. The money team. When he says TBE, he is the best ever when it comes to making money and mm-hmm. business. He beat twenty two world champions. He's undefeated. He's the best defensive def- defensive fighter of all time. Yes, but he's not my goat. Neither is he. Oh. Neither is he mine. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Hey, Luko, do you hear? Money Mayweather is not my goat. That's my brother. No, he's not oh. my goat. You can be yours. He really, whatever you did to him, <laughs> shout out NJ's brother-in-law, whatever he did to you, he doesn't know how big it is, <laughs> do, how impactful it is. Because even the last time we spoke about, Flo- that's Bixby. Yeah, yeah. Even the last time we talked about Floyd Mayweather, you specifically said, I'm not going to parade him I, in I, any I, way. I did, I did an entire two-hour podcast with him. Where he wanted to fight with me, like literally, fight. <laughs> guy knows MMA, so I'm not gonna fight with him. No, 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 because oh. I'm smart. Oh. I'm not gonna fight with just anybody. I ain't gonna fight with you. I don't know what you may do. You may just start stretching. Ha! Start doing. Well, now well, you might do start watch doing Spider Man stuff. Off the start wall. doing splits before so, we fight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm not fighting you. I'm uh, not fighting you. Where he was like, Floyd Mayweather is the best, and I was like, Nah, man, Sugar Ray Robinson, and he just lost his mind. Mm. He just lost his mind. So that's why I'm like, Oh, is that oh, how you feel? Yeah. Was and then I, he was I, wrong. So. Yeah, he was wrong. And then I put a then I put up a, a, a reel 
of my top <laughs> five boxes. So <laughs> Mayweather was number five. So petty. <laughs> I'm very so petty. petty. <laughs> I'm very petty. But it's all in love. It's all in love. Uh, so now that we've talked about that, uh, we look at career achievements, influence in sport, versatility and skill, mm-hmm. consistency mm-hmm. under pressure, mm-hmm. global impact, mm-hmm. your sportsmanship and legacy, your level of competition, mm-hmm. and adversity to overcome, right? Mm-hmm. Let's go through the GOAT females. Y'all, you're ready? You're ready? Sorry, no, she's sorry. on my, She's on the list. She's on the list. She's on. Okay. The, she, she's definitely on this. So when I was putting this up, I had her number one. Oh. Then I had to just you know change some stuff up because I mean think about it, like what I got you twenty three grand slam titles. I'm like, what are we doing? And she's like literally been the dominant force in, in tennis. Yeah. The dominant force, and then with the why she's like that big is because her cultural and global impact. If you don't know anything about tennis, you, you know, know Serena. Serena Williams. You know Serena Williams. Yeah, yeah, you know Serena. <laughs> Serena, he Hi, likes Ser- you. Hi, Serena. He likes you. He likes you. How, how you doing? Yeah, I, 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 uh-huh. yeah, and and I, I support that like <laughs> because of. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I want you on the wall of the Frederick Douglass Marcus uh, Garvey Academy, right? Uh, um, yeah. So, like, listen, like, she's like, wow, like, what, like, she's just a powerful uh, figure she's in sport. Undeniable. She is undeniable, but sportsmanship. I've seen her just... Yeah, I've heard, I've heard things about her. I've just, heard her breaking she, rackets. Breaking complaining rackets. Complaining to, is it umpires? Complaining to umpires. I also uh, see she, she would also quit just before she lost. <laughs> it's one match point. She quit just before she lost a match point. Oh, uh, no. I way. was like, no, give me, man. Give me, give me a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just... just <laughs> I'm deflated right now. Serena, so, I trusted you so much. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and then also, uh, and I'm looking at... Tennis from just the singles, right? Mm-hmm. Not the doubles. Because if it's doubles, she's way undeniable. Like, they're really undeniable. Shout, so for, shout out Venus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Venus, yeah, yeah. Venus is not even in my top 10 of uh, tennis players. Is she in anyone's? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. But no, isn't because, she just... Is, she's good. Don't get me wrong. I know that she's good. She's good, but she's but not isn't in she, not, not even close for, to Serena. For lack of a... It's going to sound mean, but not isn't even, she just she, Serena's sister? No, no. So, she's not just Serena's sister. because she paved the way. You know, like, you know that movie King Richard? I'd, I'd, I'd say you go watch King Richard. The one Will Smith won a Grammy right after slapping no, no. Chris Rock. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Well, you won an Oscar for that. <laughs> oh, right Oscar, o- yes. Right, right after slapping... Right after slapping uh, Chris Rock. Uh, I, was very, I was very hurt by that because... Uh, he, Keep my that's keep the man's wife's name out of your mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure that slap hurt uh, was gonna hurt until August, but anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> that's wrong. That's wrong. That's what. That's what. That's wrong. That was. That's what comedians would were saying after that entire thing. I, I didn't just. I didn't just think that. <laughs> so for me, good females. I've yeah. got uh, Steffi Graf, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I was gonna put Serena there, but then I just looked at you know sportsmanship, and I was like. Uh-huh. You know, like mm-hmm. Isaiah Thomas is not going to be in, in my top 20 because of like, they just walked off after Jordan beat them. Like that, yeah, lack of, you know. So, so Steph, like she's literally regarded as the good female by a lot of uh, tennis aficionados. Mm-hmm. Right? Like I told you that like, she won like four straight grand slams. Is, is and she, the gold she's medal. the one who won everything All, in one year, in right? One, everything in one year. I can't dispute Like that. everything in one I year. And then that. also we talked about degree of difficulty. Yeah. She beat a lot more top level players than Serena you, you did. did say. You yeah, did yeah, say. yeah. Over a consistent period of time. Yeah. Okay. But one people what what one some people say is like her main rival got injured, but I'm like, guys, what must I do? Sports. Yeah, it's sports. Oh. <laughs> so I had Serena number one because I but then I had to think about the competitiveness as well as the sportsmanship and then yeah. So Fair. I had to Fair. move that off. Uh then I've got Simone Biles at three, bro. I've got as the gymnast. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the gymnast, I mean come on, she keeps breaking records. Mm-hmm. I don't know. She's got how many uh, gold medals, like uh, world championship medals, and gold, and just like Olympic medals. I'm like too many. Thirty nine. Too many. That's madness. Too That's main. madness. I, I've too got main. I've got Simone there. Um, but she got a silver in the last Olympics, right? I believe she did get a silver. Yeah, or was she, it was, was it a bronze? She, I don't know. I think she got a silver with the um, with the beam. Oh uh, yeah. I don't know what the ground, what the floor, what, yeah, yeah, I don't know yeah. what they call it, but yeah. I don't know how she did there. Yeah. But I think she got a silver in the beam. Yeah, yeah, but she's like, yeah, she's she's definitely undeniable. Yeah, for uh, nothing of greatness. Yeah, exactly. Um Just, so then also I I looked at some people in track and field, right? I don't know if you heard of this with this woman, Jackie Joyner Kersee. Now, track and field athlete. Track and field. Yeah. She get like 39 
something ridiculous like that. She was like multiple Olympic medals in different disciplines. As, as it's the heptathlon and along the long jump. That's also it's not just, she's not a one trick pony. Heptathlon. Yeah, that's like we do like pent up eight. Is is the hip to like seven or what? It's seven or eight, guys. My math is not that nice, but yeah, that's why that's why I had to. Yeah, you know, I, like she would win gold medals in that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, so I'm like, that's why I have to have her up there. Um, okay. Then and I have another tennis person. I'm a tennis. I'm biased towards tennis because you know that's Mart- Martina Navratilova. So in I've si- heard that name before. You told me about her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, so in singles, she's got 18 majors, which is five short from Serena, which is quite a lot. Mm-hmm. But then also in da- in doubles, like she's got like something like if you put everything together, mm-hmm. it's like 40, 39 to 40, hmm. like majors, not titles, just majors. Hmm. So she was like very, she was pioneering. So that, I've got her there. And then let's go to your, 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 the, the sport that you hate, soccer. It's football. I hate soccer. <laughs> it's just not my sport. I've tried watching it. No, no, no. I the enjoy I playing s- soccer the, with my friends. The reason I say that is because you call it soccer, not football. The blasphemy. Because How could you be so disrespectful? Because I watch football. <laughs> I watch football. Okay. I just don't watch soccer. Of course you do. Like This, <laughs> this is never going to end. It's never going to end. Uh, uh, Mia Hamm. So she's won the World Cup twice. Mm. Um, and she's won a gold medal. Mm. And in terms of uh, women's football, women's soccer, she's regarded the goat. She's I, I, she is regarded as the goat. Um, no, she's regarded as one of the goats. And then this is where the whole World Cup issue comes in. This other uh, Brazilian uh, lady called Marta. Who? Marta. Marta. Yeah, Marta. Um, okay. She's Brazilian. Yes. She's won like five Ballon d'Ors or FIFA World Best, but mm-hmm. she has no World Cup. Mia uh, Hamm has two. Uh, <laughs> uh, we don't make the rules <laughs> we don't make um, the rules so then i've also got venus as well i've got venus in my top 10 okay yeah i've got venus as my top 10 multiple grand slam uh, uh champion without venus there is no serena so because venus was the you know other one yeah are you scotty pippening venus right now that's what i'm doing <laughs> <laughs> she has she's got like less than half of uh, Serena's uh, Grand Slam totals. Hmm. Okay. But she was she was world number 1 for a long time and the Serena came out and really just did a number of, uh, like it was so bad these two were so dominant at the same time mm-hmm. that they were playing each other in Grand Slam finals. Like imagine that. Yo, that's I'm not going to lie. That sounds pretty cool though. That's that cool, cool. That's cool, though. That right? sounds pretty I, cool. I know, right? Playing your sister Playing in sister. the finals. Yeah. I know. I know that if my brother played basketball, I'd enjoy playing basketball with him every time we get to do it. But if we got to do it professionally as well, wow, that's that. So God. like, so uh, so King Richard, <laughs> Richard did well. Uh, that's that's yeah, their father. Yeah, shout out Will Smith. Yeah, Will, <laughs> Will Smith. <laughs> uh, so what? 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 Um, uh, he couldn't watch the finals. Like, the dad was like, he couldn't watch I'm, the... I, I, who am I going to root for? He couldn't watch the finals. He's like, tell me who wins there afterwards. He couldn't watch the finals, literally. I know a part of him, deep down, somewhere pick deep someone. down. He picked someone. Deep down in the darkest part of his heart. <laughs> the darkest part of it. Not the darkest part <laughs> of it. He was like, yeah, I, I, I know who has to win. I know who hopes. I know who I'm rooting for. Yeah. Like, deep, deep, deep down there. He just, he was being a great dad. He was being a great he dad, being but, a great but he knows. Dad. He knows, but so, he knows. He like, took we, it to the grave, and it's cool. Yeah, for me, I was like, I, like I want Serena to win everything. I, I used to get upset when Serena didn't win. Really? Yeah, I used to Did get you upset. Cried like when? No, when no, 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 no. Serena <laughs> wasn't personal. Nadal was just personal. <laughs> <laughs> Rafa was just personal. Rafa broke your heart, bro. No, no super, once again, su- men, men, like men. men, like yo, Rafa <laughs> broke my heart. No, I, time, every time I watch sports, right, <laughs> I understand women for for a while. For like the first, how can he do this to me, bro? For the first five ten minutes after the fight or the match or whatever, I'm like, no, I understand. I was upset for a week and a half, bro. (laughs) Do you want to know why? I sat up and I watched that match for six hours ten minutes, and I watched it. And you know when you watch a match and and you're like, all right, yo, like he gets an edge. I was like, okay, and then. I, they, start, they start getting I, beaten and then you they, they give you a glimmer of hope yeah, the I'm you like think, you're gonna win you're gonna win and then no. they missed the, like he missed a wide open shot if he won the, he got that shot he would've won that's, that's how he I won. felt that's how I felt the toe Lamar. the toe he, bro the toe the, toe, the damn toe <laughs> anyway so anyway. damn toe but so, anyway yeah, yeah. I just, for, for like the first 5-10 minutes after a loss 
Yeah. I really understand when women say men will disappoint you. Ah, men will disappoint you. Ah, I can't Our. And then we've got uh, Lindsay Vaughn, who do, who's, an, uh, who's a skier, mm. alpine skiing. Mm. And she has four World Cups, overall championships, and an Olympic gold medal. So she's regarded the best in that discipline, right? Okay. Yeah. And then we've got uh, Katie Ledecky. So she's basically the Michael Phelps of uh, swimming. Hmm. of female swimming so hmm. she's actually quite good uh then we've got the 11th um florence griffith joiner she's also tracking you field. got you got flojo number 11 yeah flojo number 11 i got flojo top 10 all right that's you yeah and i'm happy that you have because but if i had to take someone out i'd have to uh be a hater and take venus out and put flojo there hmm. yeah if I, that's just me being a hater but you know like Black power. I mean, <laughs> I'm kidding, <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, and then, then we've got a golfer, Annika Sorostam. Hmm. She's one of the most successful golfers, and she's got 10 majors. And she was like basically the tiger woods okay. of golf, well, female golf. closest thing to it, because I don't think there'll ever be a tiger. No, 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 no. tiger. <laughs> yeah, maybe a kitten, but not a tiger. A <laughs> dog. <laughs> that guy was too good, man. Yo. And then we've got the Australian sprinter, uh, Kathy Freeman. Mm-hmm. She won gold in, in multiple multiple races okay um and she transcended the sport was it wasn't because when she won the gold medal there was an entire cultural event around it mm. like she united people it was like not just a gold medal it had some significance to it mm-hmm. so like it's one of the transcending of the sport yeah. and then i've got another tennis player uh billy jean king oh billy jean king this is exactly really? yeah this is who uh, uh michael jackson was singing about mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> not my love isn't she a Gay rights activist. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't mean for it to come out that way. Uh, but it did. It did. <laughs> <laughs> Should I call her Mister? Okay. <laughs> so why is she? No, no, no. We're not going to do that. And then we've got someone from racing, uh, Danica Patrick, who's one of the most successful women in history of American open wheel racing. Hmm. And she's uh, she broke barriers. This is the cultural significance yeah. and the dominance in sport. Yeah. So she broke barriers and was a trailblazer for the females hmm. in the male dominated sport. But yeah, how far are you now? Aren't you like on fifteen? So 16? I stopped at fifteen. So I stopped and at fifteen. There's a name. I don't know her name, but she's a gymnast. Yeah. And so there's uh, Nadia Comaneci. You know? Yes, her. Yes, Nadia Comaneci. Yes, her. Is yeah, she yeah, like an yeah, honorable no, no. mention? No, 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 no. She like like because uh, I, I I I think I mentioned her. No, no. She's actually number six on my list. Yeah. Oh. She's the first gymnast to score a perfect ten. She broke the score, bro. <laughs> she broke the scoreboard because she had because back in the day, yeah, gymnasts could get a maximum score of nine point nine nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got a ten. Point. She broke the score. So, so she was so she so, was the greatest gymnast until Simone came along. That's the other, that's the only way to put it. Yeah. So like, her not I didn't I didn't. She's get number six. She's in, I didn't she's in hear, top six. Yeah. Didn't hear that she's number six. No, I th- I think I just went straight over to Mia Hamm. My bad. My yeah. Because I'm like, perfect nah, ten. You're going too far down on the list for her not to be there. <laughs> Your friend, like, how could this guy be so disrespectful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, nah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly that. I was like, there's yeah. no way, bro. There's yeah, no yeah. Way. But okay, if she's number six on your list. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She so, broke the scoreboard. She broke the scoreboard. Some honorable mentions. We have Alison Felix. Mm. Uh, she's also track and field. Mm. Lisa Leslie. She was a pioneer. Lisa and, uh, Leslie. Yeah. W-A-B. You're gonna you're gonna have Lisa Leslie As nowhere a, in your top ten. No. 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 Okay, but if I'm being honest, you know what? Fair. Because right yeah. now the WNBA is popping now. Yeah. Back then. Back then. Yeah. So. Yeah, she even was, Lisa she, Leslie, I wouldn't was, say she's the goat of the I, WNBA. No, and she's the first. That's Caitlin Clark. Clark, we all know that. So she was the first. <laughs> so she was the first one do, to. Do, 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 do you like having water in your clothes? I almost, I almost just ha ah, the blasphemy. Do I like having water in my clothes? <laughs> Depends where it comes from. <laughs> The blasphemy. The blasphemy. Nah, that, was, that was blasphemy. Relax. Uh, but then there's quite an... an, an, an you know, Lisa Leslie was the first to dunk in the... In the I've WNBA. got that. Yeah, the first woman to dunk. Uh, so I've saw just, a little, like, just a little rim grazer. But still. <laughs> <laughs> she dunked. A dunk is a dunk. Did it go in? It went in. Right. Ball went in. <laughs> um, so then there's also uh, Megan Rapinoe. Uh, she was a... Um, 
She's a football player. Soccer player. Well, US, uh, the U.S. women's the, basketball yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, the lady yeah, yeah. with the pink hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah the yeah. one who said everyone they should be paid equally and I disagree with her. I, I mean, still do. I, I Listen. No, I love, guys. I love her, but what are, we doing? what are we doing? And then Who watches also, women's soccer? And then in also, U.S. anyway. I don't. I don't. Uh, so then there's too many names to from honorable mentions. But hey, Ronda Rousey. I have to put Ronda Rousey in there as an honorable mention. Ronda Rousey is an honorable mention. Yeah, she's an honorable mention. Why? You know, because I, was trying to think. I don't know enough about MMA. That's why I didn't use I, school. I was trying to think about that, right? Yeah. It's a great it's great that you brought it up. Because when you said when you listed your criteria, the coming back part. From <laughs> adversity. <laughs> Did she not do that well? Did she fold like a wallet? She, she went to she went to WWE, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Folded like a lawn chair, bro. Sure, she went to Vince McMahon. On. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing to my province? McMahon. Hey, 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 hey. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a freaky man. Uh-huh. I, I thought he, I thought the freakiness only ended on screen. No, 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 no. He's. You should watch. I'm waiting for the documentary to come uh-huh. out. On Netflix, I'm also waiting for that because I, I, I man, they, you, they, they made the boy sell his company. You've got no chance. No now, chance. And now, I'm not, and now I'm not going to listen to that same song. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. He had people leaving the company at some point. There's people that are tied into certain allegations. That's allegations. These allegations. are strictly allegations. Are, I am, I am allegations. not getting sued for <laughs> this guy. By, by Vince McMahon, of all people. <laughs> I think he's got other problems to worry about than me and you talking. You know what? True. <laughs> <laughs> but Ronda Rousey. Here's the thing with Ronda Rousey. Yeah. It's it's another goat boat situation, right? So Ronda Rousey is a great fighter. And yeah. she transcended the sport, as yeah. we said. And there was a point in time when she was the highest paid member of the UFC roster. Yeah, yeah. Male or female. But, and she was the first champion in the, in the division. The first women's champion in UFC was Ronda Rousey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And she defended that title very well. And for a long time, she yeah. was dominant, bro. Had a great run. Until they went to Australia, and she met a lady by the name of Holly Holmes. Oh, Holly I Holmes. heard some. I heard something about Holly Holmes. Didn't Holly Holmes send her home? Uh, yeah, <laughs> put her to sleep. Put her to sleep. Put her to sleep. You ever go night night? Ready to go night night? <laughs> put her to sleep, bro. And that was a very crazy fight. That was yeah. an upset that yeah. had all of us just shook it. Was it? A, was it really an upset? Yes. Why? Because Ronda was at the peak of her power. Oh, so this is like a Mike Tyson, Buster Douglas type of situation. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Where we just, we were fighting, we were watching Ronda. Yeah. So that we could, okay, she's yeah. fighting Holly Holmes and she's going to go fight either Cyborg or Amanda Nunez. Next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same way we were watching Mike Tyson, we're like, okay, let's just give Buster Douglas his chance. But we all know that this is the build up to the Evander Holyfield fight. Yeah, yeah. Ah, it didn't work out that way. So, <laughs> ho- they got to Australia, Holly Holmes beat Ronda Rousey, Was bro. it submission or knockout? Did you not hear me say she put her to sleep? Oh, she actually put a night-night. She, she went night-night. She went night-night. And at no point in time did you look at Rousey and think, huh, she stands a chance. Mm. The whole fight, bro, I was like, huh, she's in trouble. Yeah. Oh, she's, oh, she's rocked. Oh, it's bad. Oh, she's asleep. Oh, she's gone. Like, like she, we, she, we she not gone. believe in what you were saying. Bro, bro, <laughs> it's like, bro, it's the same feeling I had when Amanda Nunez yeah. lost to Juliana Pena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By by knockout. Yeah, well, it wasn't knockout. It was submission. Yeah. In the second like, round. Like, what am I watching? What's happening? Here? What am What am I watching? It's the same thing. So these two women, um, Ronda Rousey and Amanda Nunez, who I consider the two best fi- female fighters to ever set foot in okay. the UFC yeah, octagon yeah, yeah. or any octagon for that matter. Yeah. They both got the asses. Handed to them, for lack of a better term. Ganji. Ganji. Just like, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to take it off. You th- thank you for coming. Give yeah. me a title as well. Let me go. Yeah. The, so, I'm going to take your title. That's where, your that's where I, I think we might have to revisit this UFC female GOAT thing. Because I, I am on record saying Amanda Nunez is the greatest yeah, fighter. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what you said. That's what you said. And I and I will die on that are hill. You, are you standing on business? I will die on that hill. It's just that, unfortunately... She's not the most marketable. She's Portuguese. She's, she's Brazilian. Her English is not very good. So you can't have her in Fast and Furious movies and The Expendables and all uh, that. That's like very you true. Did, like you did with Ronda Rousey. Yeah, yeah. Ronda yeah. Rousey is American. She's very good with pub with being in the public, and that's yeah. why. So, she, but if we were looking at all of this criteria here, 
career achievements, influence on the sport, nah, versatility, nah, nah, consistency, nah, cultural, nah, global Amanda, impact. Amanda, bro. Still. Amanda. You know why? Sportsmanship and I'm legacy. Thinking, level I'm thinking about sportsmanship as well. Yeah. Bi- with the build-up to the Harley Holmes fight. Yeah. At some point, Ronda Rousey just got angry at Harley Holmes for Eyeball. no reason. And Harley Holmes was being very respectful the whole time, even to the build-up to the fight. She was being very respectful. Was it not a PR good. stunt? I would assume it was to sell tickets because why else would they do would they do that? She just started out of nowhere. She pulled a complete one eighty. Able. She started calling Holly Holmes disrespectful. Started talking mad trash, and I was like, "What are we doing? Oh, here? What's happening?" Yeah. So she lost the fight, and then she was never the same. Mm. She was never the same. She went on to lose to Amanda Nunes as well. Got so bad that she decided to go see Vince McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> you know even there bro even there the she, way her wwe career went as scripted as it is if that's how it went then i'm sorry it's not how, how did it go bad <laughs> <laughs> bad how bad she came in yeah peaked became a world champion yeah, yeah. and she was part of the history making main event she's one of the first three women so yeah. it was a triple threat match. Yeah, yeah. She's one, so those three women were the first women to ever main event a, wrestle, a WrestleMania. All right. Which is huge. Yeah. Huge. WrestleMania is WWE's biggest calendar. Yeah, event. it is. It is. And three women were the main event. And that was really great. Which she went on to win, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So shout out to win. her for that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Which, you know, she won. Yeah. And she had a good run with the title. And then yeah. I don't know what happened. Some backstage disputes and yeah. disputes with other fighters. Oh. She left. And then what happened? And then she came back. To the MMA. To, she came, no, she came back to WWE last year, if not the year before. Yeah. They won, she got in a few fights, lost her last one, and she left again. Also saying that they don't treat her right. They don't treat her fairly. Is this your goat? Is this your goat? Is what I'm saying. Because Amanda Nunes, for me... Again, I don't know much to, enough about the MMA. So when say. Amanda Nunez lost to Juliana Pena, right? Yeah, yeah. And we all said, what happened? There? What is it with these Hispanics and being violent? What's going on here? Hey, Chico, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but she lost to Juliana Pena and she came yeah. back a year later and handed Juliana's ass to her. Now she beat her. Oh. Beat her thoroughly. Gosh, like, Gosh, proper, like, proper, like proper, yo. Proper. Let me show you that last time was an anomaly. Last time we just, you know, you caught me on a bad day. So Amanda Nunez came back from... She went on to defend her title two more times after that and uh, retired on, on top. top. Retired a double champion. All right. Amanda two Nunez, divisions. Amanda Nunez, I'm going to learn Oh, by Portuguese. the way, nah, Amanda Nunez has to be over Ronda Rousey simply because she's a two-division champion. Oh, two-division champion. Two-division champion. That's the Manny Pacquiao conversation I'm Ex- having. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Manny and Floyd. Yeah, that's why that's why a lot of people. I don't. This is not me. They've got Manny over Floyd. <laughs> uh, Max Kellerman has that. Max Kellerman believes that. And Max Kellerman. I, I trust Max. Is, Kellerman and Max Kellerman boxing. is surgical with his boxing. I trust Max. Kellerman's he is boxing. surgical. That's why Max shouldn't talk basketball. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so Max, 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 Max come on, Max, Max, come Max, Max, yeah, Max, you're wrong, and this is why. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why. We, uh, listen, what I need to understand about boxing. Do I not come over and call you and say, Max? What do you what do you know about boxing? Max what do you think about this great. fight? Max Kellerman is amazing with boxing. Sensational. Sensational. Phenomenal. <laughs> he knows his boxing. <laughs> <laughs> but he should this is why he shouldn't talk basketball. Max, you're wrong. <laughs> oh man. Stephen A. Shout out Stephen A. Uh, but no, nah, I just in having this conversation. Yeah. As much as Did it solidify solidify your, your position? It's solidified. Amanda. The only thing that Ronda Rousey has over yeah. Amanda Nunez is the fact that she managed to transcend the sport simply because yeah. she, she was the more marketable More fighter. marketable. But uh, but then even then, like you went to WWE, you left, came back, and then it went like... You understand. And I like... And I, again, but, but but here's, here's another, the other argument is that Ronda Rousey, for her GOAT uh, status, mm-hmm. it does help that she's that marketable. Because I knew nothing about Amanda Nunez. I knew about Ronda Rousey. See what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah, but okay, that's th- th- let's go back. They both fit the criteria. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not saying that. And I'm not there's saying just that. one aspect in Amanda's game that she's not marketing. No, which is fine. One aspect in Ronda's game that she got beat and she was never the same. Yeah, that's very true. That no, that's very true. 
I'm saying I agree with you that Amanda's the the goat. I'm agreeing mm-hmm. with you. What okay. I'm saying is that what does help Ronda Rousey's goat case is her popularity. Is the, is the popularity. No, 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 no. And I will give her credit for that. Yeah. Even what she managed to do for women in the UFC. In the UFC, she was also I a mean, trailblazer. Right? She was a trailblazer, bro. She got the bag, which opened the doors for many for other people to get their bags. So basically, what Caitlin Clark is doing for the WNBA. <laughs> I, I, I love Caitlin Clark I just can't stand the media that's behind her the P- it's all about PR babe. exactly I can't stand the media behind her it's like, like there's other people like Angel Reese why are we not talking about Angel Reese why are we not talking about the best player in the world right now who Asia Wilson Angel Reese <laughs> Asia Wilson Angel Reese okay I know why hi Angel hi <laughs> uh, no, I'm kidding. I'll agree with you with that one. So let's. <laughs> so we. So now that you know that that criteria, let's yeah. go to the greatest male athletes of all time. But can I just say, why yeah. isn't Flojo number ten? Why isn't Flojo at least top ten? Because uh, we we talked about it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's because. Like what you're hearing so far? Make sure you never miss a show by clicking subscribe now button. Follow on YouTube, Instagram, and other platforms listed. Also, check out the website for more information. This podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for the support. Now back to the show. This is, again, this is my list. Okay. And then there's also the biases that's, that are there. Yeah, like and it's also you my six my tennis knowledge. players in your top ten. I uh, look, listen, 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 <laughs> listen. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I will say tennis is probably the ultimate sport to bet on yourself. Yeah, no, hundred percent, like hundred percent. Because if you don't you, rely on if, anyone, if, you don't rely you, on any no, other no, external you, forces. Like, like, uh, like you've got your coaches and your training staff at the back, but like when it's time to play, it's just yes. you. And if you it's lost, like, it's, it's you. You did it. Like, there's some people who like. In tennis, it's very hard for you to get cheated outright. Ah, okay. uh, it's very difficult for you to get cheated outright. Like even the umpire, mm-hmm. when there are shady calls, you can be like, "No, I challenge that." And then you've got, uh, oh yeah, you've got video replay of the ball where it went, where it hit. Shut up! Shut exactly. Up. Yeah. Now I think second to fighting, tennis is the one sport where you can bet on yourself. You can literally bet on yourself. You know um, I mean? So why Flojo? Like I said, if I have to respect Flojo, I'd have to take. Be a hater and take Venus out. Okay. And put Flojo number 10. The mm. reason I have Venus there mm. <laughs> is knowledge of the sport. Okay. Is knowledge of the sport. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I'm trying to get sponsorship of the show, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, greatest male athletes of all time. My turn. Let's go. It's my turn. Let's go. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> If I want to take marketability mm. and popularity mm. and dominance of your sport mm. and being perfect mm. and being that guy mm. that everyone and their mother and their dog and their dog's cousin knows mm. where you, there's no question of who the greatest is in your sport, mm. it has to be Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Yes. It has to be Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Yes. I, I'm I'm cool with either him or Lionel Messi. Yeah, the reason the reason I'm going to say uh, I would give uh, Michael Jordan a slight edge, mm-hmm. even though this is not my real opinion, because I I said Lionel Messi has to be the greatest male athlete because of the size of uh, football and its reach. True. So I'd have to put him number one there. But, but no, I'm I'm just talking about as the Jordan is best. Uh, he is. That's the thing. For, Messi is Messi is not football. No, he, no, he's not football. There's still people till this day that debate that Maradona is better. Or Pele is better. better. Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. See, so that debate is still there. I don't, know, I don't know why that's still happening. Michael Jordan retired 30, 20 years ago. Yeah. Well, well, 30. We don't talk about his. We don't, we don't talk about the Wizards here. We don't talk about the Wizards. He, 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 he retired he, and we still we'll talk com- about this guy. Talk about him till this day. We're still comparing. We are still comparing. LeBron and who's other We're players. still looking for the next MJ. We are still looking for the next Michael Jordan. Kobe did it, and we still saying nah. As Benny the Butcher says, there's a line in one of Benny the Butcher's songs where he says, "Kobe got his fifth title, and somehow still lives in the shadow of Michael." Exactly. What are we doing? Uh, like, what are we doing? So, nah, if, he's, I'm, he's if, I'm, if I'm looking at it, like, like, like the way he just transcended sports, yeah, transcended not just basketball. I'm talking about sports. sports. 
to the point where he was the most famous person on the face of the planet. And this was... This was before the internet. This was before the internet and Michael Jackson was still <laughs> out there. And there was a time where he was more famous than Michael Joseph, Joseph Jackson. Jackson. MJJ. 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 <laughs> but, um, bro, he took basketball shoes and they are now a fashion statement. They are a fashion statement. Which one Jays on my feet. Jays on my feet. I don't have Jays. Jordan, tell them my Jays too. Like, in, <laughs> I don't yeah, know. I haven't, I haven't had Jays since uh, I was like 13. I haven't had Jays ever. 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 Never. Ever. I've never had Jays, no. What? All right. Just make a note that I didn't go buy myself some Jays. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the original yeah. Jays. I watched. The I Jordan did, ones? Yeah I, yeah. I went and I watched an entire movie about shoes. Tell us about the shoes. But money has got to be the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So nah. I'm going to have to say uh, Michael Jordan. Okay. I like my opinion is still that it's Lionel Messi. But then if we're just talking about a figure. Let's be objective. Let's, yeah. Yeah. And then, then I've got Lionel Messi. Okay. I don't know, enough said. I mean, mm-hmm. I, the only reason I got this is what we won the World Cup, yes. So, um, <laughs> eight Ballon d'Ors. The guy has got eight Ballon d'Ors. Eight. The next closest person has got five, and that's Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, and let's not forget that for about 10 years, they just kept on saying, okay. Okay, there you go. it's your turn. Thank you. There you it's go. my <laughs> turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the only uh, thing they, they couldn't do is this. <laughs> <laughs> which is an atrocity i'm sorry um we subscribed we, yeah i subscribed yeah and, and, and here's a funny the crazy thing about messi he's the number two goal scorer of all time and he's the person with the most assists of all time so and he's the only oh. yeah, there's something called goal contributions right mm-hmm. where you've got um whether you score or assist we call that goal contributions ah, in basketball we call that points responsible oh points responsible for okay i didn't know that you learn mm-hmm. something new every day Listen, thank you. That. Thank you. That. So he's got the most goal contributions in the history of the sport. He's got the most trophies in the history of the sport. I love Cristiano, but sit down. He's got he's sit got down. like you know, you know, you know you've got the the World Cup has got the equivalent of the finals MVP. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. the only one to win that twice. And he only has won. And he, he he won that one in a losing effort. Nah, Ronaldo gotta sit down. Wait, when did Argentina go to the So twenty fourteen? And oh, they lost to Germany. That was shout out, shout out. What's his name? Mario Götze. Yeah, Mario Götze. No, I remember. That's the only, only yeah soccer game I've sat down and watched. No, like like I I I, I was heartbroken, but then not really heartbroken. I, I wanted to see a man finish a game of football. That's I wanted someone to see, see someone finish uh, the game. I but, remember that. But then uh, he saved the sport because he gave us another six years of greatness from Lionel Messi. I'm so happy for all that. So then he, the man has literally finished. Uh, Football. He's won every what major trophy. Team? What else is the important? Team? Every major trophy that you can put, think of winning. Mm-hmm. He's got the most golden shoes, which means, uh, like, if you are the top goal scorer across the Europe's leagues, mm-hmm. you get a golden shoe. He's got six of those. Mad. And he's got mm-hmm. three hundred twenty-eight man of the match awards, bro. Oh, what? And the next per- closest person got one hundred and seventy-three. Yo, I. Yo, ah. Uh... Go to a goat, goat, goat. Ah. And then I've got, uh, I've got, I've got Novak Djokovic. We've talked course, about his. Of course uh, you do. I've got Muhammad Ali. Oh. Ali. Oh. Ali. Cassius Clay. Cassius Marcellus Clay. Wait, that's his middle name? Cassius Marcellus Clay. Yeah, that's you lie. Name. Cassius Marcellus Clay. <laughs> I, I read his biography just to make sure. <laughs> Cassius Marcellus. Learn something new every day. Yeah, Cassius Marcellus. Um, then uh, the greatest ever. Uh, boxer ever I'm like mm. I, like in terms of like being superstar mm. and transcending mm. the sport I still like if I'm a, I'm a purist I'm gonna go Shuri Robinson that's just mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. and then we've got Yasein Bolt that's number five number five yeah yeah, yeah. oh thank you Yasein oh, Bolt I'd say Yasein over Novak but fine now that's you I like because cause if you were to if I was to take someone out of this list I would objectively have to take Novak out and put Michael Phelps in Okay. If that was going to be a fight, but I'm like, I don't want to do that because mm-hmm. I've got my tennis bias. Yes. Um, even even though Novak Djokovic uh, broke my heart, I still am a fan. He made of you it. cry. He made me cry. He made bro. you cry. He How made, many men have made you cry in your life? How many men have made me cry? Uh, there's Novak, Rafael Nadal, uh, oh. Andres Iniesta from Chelsea when in the Champions League semi final 2009. Uh, Lionel Messi made me cry. <laughs> when? When you won the World Cup, I cried for 15 minutes straight. I cried. <laughs> uh, My wife was busy taking photos. I'm like, I'm going to take photos of this guy. Yeah. Next time you think you're a man, look at this. Look at 
She still got them saved, huh? She got them saved. She's gonna bring. She's gonna bring them out when she needs to. Nah, I, need, I need her to save me though. Don't you dare! Don't, need, nah, don't you dare! <laughs> and then, so yeah, so Leo Messi also made me cry. Uh, even though uh, Nova has made me cry, I like. I'm not dumb enough to like saying this guy's not the goat. Number six, I, we were disrespectful to the sport last time. Very disrespectful to the sport. Like I, like I can't wait, believe. Wait, where's Tiger Woods? Uh, I'm gonna get to that. I'm gonna get to that. Wow. I'm gonna get to that. Okay. I'm gonna get to that. Uh, I think I think I've, I may have fluffed this list a bit. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna put Tiger Woods there. Mm-hmm. Number six. Mm-hmm. Number six. Wait, who was your initial number six? Uh, Sachin Tanduka, cricket. You. Cricket is the second biggest sport outside of football. By the way, I know that, but. Yeah, I can't stand cricket. I'm sorry. Okay. He said it. He said it. He said it. I can't stand <laughs> cricket. <laughs> he talks sports, but he can't stand cricket. What is this? The, the one sport I can't stand. I'll even watch <laughs> soccer before I watch cricket, bro. Of course, you gotta watch soccer. I can't stand cricket. And why does it gotta? T- why does it have to take the whole day? Like, bro. Like, we've got things to do here. <laughs> we've got things to do here. Give me, give me, give me three hours. I can give you three hours of my undivided <laughs> attention. After that, I got to go to work. I got to get my girlfriend attention. I got video games to play. I got to do my own work and record talk and talk sports. Where yeah. am I going to find the whole day to watch cricket? Take the girlfriend out. You've got time. <laughs> 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 but he wants to get married. So I think uh, should. Uh, yeah. So sad number session. But out of respect, uh, like he's the greatest batsman in history. Hmm. And he's. Yeah, and also, here's the thing. There are quite a number. I, I think he's got a World Cup. He, I think he does. Mm. I need to check that. But then everyone talks about Sasha Tondoka if you talk cricket. Like it's like in basketball. Yeah, no, Hashim Amna. Yeah, there's him too. But then Sasha is more famous than he is. Hmm. And more impactful. from? Huh? Where is he from? Uh, I believe he is from, I believe from Pakistan. I was right. about to say it's either India or Pakistan. It's either India or Pakistan. I'm not that great with, I'm not surgical with my cricket because I just don't watch it. I was about to say I don't care, but I just I just don't watch there's it. A, there's a name that okay, keep going. There's a name that I'm thinking of. Okay, it's what is in cricket? Sp- no, no. Okay, no. Keep saying. Okay, so we have to have brother Michael Phelps. Okay, yes. like just name your kid Michael. Yes. He's got a chance of being great. Michael Tyson, Mike Tyson, Jordan Jackson, Phelps, Jonah Lomu. Where's Jonah Lomu in this? Jonah Lomu. What's that? <sighs> Jonah Lomu. Utah. Oh, rugby. Rugby. Yes. rugby. I, again, I don't know that much about the whole nah, history. Let me, let me pull up Jonah Lowe. Yeah, I'll like, pull, pull him up real quick. Yeah. For you. And then we've got Michael Phelps, of course. Uh, then number eight, we've got Pele. Hmm. Uh, number 10, Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, rest in peace, Jonah Lomu, by the way. Oh, yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest and in peace. Pele and Maradona. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what uh, Pele is, he's definitely, I mean, like he was, he was football for a very long time. He's the only fair, one with three. Enough. He's the only man with three World Cups, by the way. Three. three. He's got three World Cups. That's yeah. twelve years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three World Cups. But like the one, it will take one with a bit of an asterisk. You know, was it a participation trophy? It was a more participation trophy. Okay. He's, the entire Brazilian team was the strongest in the world, and he was injured in I think the group stages, mm. and then they went and won the whole thing without him. But you still get that. <sighs> That's the chat I was having with Robert Rory and James Wiseman. Robert, I was saying James Wiseman is a champion. Robert but he Rory was injured that season. Robert Rory made all of the shots that he made on those fine, championship fine, winning fine. teams. Ro- Stuff Robert, like, but I was just saying that's how championships can be participation awards because they can be. Why James Wiseman? You Google him; he's listed 2022 NBA champion right there. Did he see a single minute on the court? Did he ever? I hate it so much because <laughs> even with the ring ceremony the next season, he was there. Like, yeah, I was like, no, put that down, put that down. But listen, the he win. met the criteria. <laughs> <laughs> you Yo, met the criteria. Yeah, he did. And he cr- did. Yeah. Let me tell you about Jonah Lomu. Yeah, yeah. His Wikipedia says Jonah Lomu was a New Zealand professional rugby union player. I okay, know, okay. Say rugby union, but anyway. Just say rugby player, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest and most influential players in the history of the sport mm-hmm. and one of the most talented sportsmen ever. Okay. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> <Neither do I. laughs> Lomu is considered to have been the first true global superstar of rugby. Oh, really? And consequently had a huge impact on the game. Oh, is it? Okay. So, how many, just how many World Cups did he have? I don't know. He played for the All Blacks. Let me yeah, see. the Let All Blacks see. have got three World Cups. You've got four. <laughs> uh, <laughs> zero. <laughs> He's got what? I think it's zero. How many? 
<laughs> Zero. You just got so if I call him, is that what we hear? You're so mean. You're so mean. I'm just asking. Yeah, but yeah, you you ring. Well, he's dead anyway. So if you call him, he's dead. <laughs> but like, yeah. <laughs> I'm just talking from the sports legacy. That's yeah, what he was acknowledged as the top player of the '95 World Cup, but uh, that which he lost. <laughs> <laughs> so, nah, I gotta check this. Jonah Lomu World Cups. Otherwise, then he's he's gotta go behind Sia Kulisi. Uh, Sia Kulisi is the greatest rugby player of all time. <laughs> Cause I no said way. it with my chest. I'm saying it with my chest. Jonah Lomu World Cup. Did Jonah Lomu win a World Cup? No. Oh, okay, so oh, let's okay. forget. Okay, that's see ya. Okay, Sia Kulis is the greatest rugby Beldi, player. Beldi Kulis. Yeah, yeah, he's a Beldi Kulis. <laughs> Beldi Kulis. Yeah. So and then number ten, I've uh, I've got uh, Rafa. I've got Rafa Amaral. Mm. I've got Rafa Amaral. Yeah, I've got Rafa Amaral. And then we are disrespectful to ice hockey guy, Wayne Gretzky. Gretzky, I was about to say. Wayne you Gretzky. You can't have two tennis players up there when there's Wayne Gretzky oh, just Like, fine, I'm going to take Nadal out. Like, I'm, have, I'm always trying to get Nadal in my top he 10. Have, doesn't he have... He has to chill in your <laughs> top 10, sure. No problem. But we are being objective here. We're yes. putting together a solid list. I don't think you understand. I love, I love Rafael Nadal as trust, a tennis trust, player. Trust what? me. We've been talking sports for three weeks straight. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. but Wayne Gretzky isn't he leading the NA? Doesn't he lead the NHL in, in total everything. goals and everything. goals and assists? Everything, and everything, everything. Championships, and everything. then also, and then also, like there has like basketball for whatever reason there's a good debate. Mm-hmm. Football for whatever reason there's a good debate. NHL, a- nothing. There's no good nothing. debate. There's no good undisputed. There's no good debate. There's no good, there's no good debate there. There's no so so now nah, we just okay. just okay. off of that. Yeah, yeah. Just so, after no, that. he has to be in. But then, like, this is why, like, there's so many names. And then, like, Babe Ruth, bro. Mm. Babe Ruth. El Bambino. The, the great Bambino. Yeah. <sighs> He's got... But there's Babe Ruth. Yeah. There's, um... Who's who's this other guy? Uh, Hank Aaron. Not Hank Aaron. Um, not, Sam, not Sammy Sosa. No, no, no. This, there was, this was one. Sammy, Sammy Sosa is the greatest transformer. Yeah, okay. In, so in in in, in MLB in baseball. MLB, uh, mm-hmm. Major League Basketball, mm-hmm. baseball, yeah. The World Series, but it's just people from the states. Yeah. But this this Aaron Judge, there's two players right now that I think might be mm-hmm. the GOAT when it's all said and done simply because of the trajectory of their careers. Yeah. I don't know enough baseball to actually give you a solid opinion that I'm going to stand on. Yeah, yeah. But I know enough to know that Aaron Judge and Shohei Otani are on a great course right now and if is they it? keep this up they'll be good is it they'll be good Shohei Otani is I think he won unanimous MVP or something really it's crazy something crazy like that that's mad and that's Japanese that's... yes I know okay <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for that I know <laughs> I know <laughs> um so I also I think I was also very disrespectful to uh Skip Bayless's husband <laughs> Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. That guy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy. Yes. Yeah, he has to At be, least top 15. Yeah, he's, he definitely has At to least be top, top 15. 15. Uh, Carl Lewis was Usain Bolt before Usain Bolt. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Diego Maradona. We've got Kobe Bean Bryant. Jack. Uh, I love Kobe, but. Come on. Come on. Jack Nicholas. He's the guy that was telling you about. Uh, Where's LeBron? Uh, oh, LeBron gets an honorable mention. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, yeah. the hate is real. Yeah, no, it's, it's, no, it's the like, hate is real. I, I will have to move because um, I was trying to include people from multiple different sports here. Mm. I was trying to get that, but then, I, like, if I'm going to go with the sports that I know the best, mm. then LeBron is definitely top. <sighs> he has tier. to be. Where's GSP? George Saint Pierre. George Saint Pierre, you, uh, you told me MMA. Me. The MMA also I, a two different also a two division again champion. again I don't know much about the MMA yeah that's why I just need your help so then honorable mentions we've got uh, Louis Hamilton man I always forget that's a sport ah. the same people that say chess is a sport fine ah look listen fine. hey playing games is a sport you know that F- fine like fine. the e-sports? E- 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 esports is <laughs> mad by the way but fine. <laughs> I don't think esports is an actual sport. You can fight with me on okay, that. Okay, no, no, no. This, uh, like they did uh, some analysis on this. I was also fighting you on this. I'm like, wow, is esports a sport? But uh, they did some psychological analysis where they like you know they attach things to your brain 
and the stress that they go through is a similar stress that a, a, people, a person actually playing tennis or actually playing football will go through. You mean physical stress? Yeah, it's physical stress, mental stress. They actually go through the same I thing. I understand the endurance part of it because chances are you're going to sit on a chair for hours oh, playing yeah. a video game, yeah. drinking nothing but water and monster, but still. I like, I like, <laughs> I like watching the esports finals. They are wildly entertaining. When I say esports, like the FIFA ones. League of Legends, I'm like, I don't know what's going on in this match. Dota 2, I don't know what's going on in this Dota. Match. Age of Empires, I don't know what's going on in this match. There's this other one as well. I can't even remember it right now, but... Ow, uh, Counter Strike. <laughs> Ow, uh. we used to play that. Um, so Roger Federer is an honorable mention for me. Okay. Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Jesse Owens, Cristiano. Uh, no, Cristiano is no Cristiano is number nine for me, bro. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, and then Jim Brown. Sounds familiar. Now he's a uh, American football NFL. Huh. He was like a legend, bro. Like he was uh, literally a, a legend. He was a running back. Mm. Right? And only then we've got the only legendary running back I care about is OJ. Oh yeah, of course. Manny Pacquiao is an honorable mention. Okay. Jerry Rice. I put Jerry. I I don't even know this Jim Brown, but Jerry Rice, bro. No, Jerry Rice. Like the thing is, Jerry Rice for the longest time was considered the best NFL player of all time. The thing is, and then Thomas Patrick Edward <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Brady. Edward Patrick Bray Jr. <laughs> the thing is. For a non Jerry Rice is the greatest non quarterback I've ever seen. No, like he's uh, like if we uh, take if uh, quarterbacks was in the position, it would be Jerry Rice and then Shannon Sharp. Okay, that's my Michelle. Anyway, no, <laughs> okay. maybe on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> maybe on Instagram. I'm joking. No, 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 Shannon Sharp. Manny Pacquiao. What's Bill Russell? Uh, Will ah. Chamberlain. Ah. Oh, where's Bill Russell? Yeah, Bill Russell should actually be in this. Where's is, Bill Russell? This, this, this is very difficult. <laughs> Jim Brown, Bo Jackson. Who put Schumacher? Yeah, the Schumacher there. Like, I had to pick. Do I put Schumacher in or do I put Louis Hamilton in? And I'm going to put Louis over Schumacher. I think that's just because Louis still has a chance to do more. Uh, if if Louis ended his career now, I think he'd be one over Michael. Right? What? No, aren't they both on seven right now? Yeah, they're both on seven. But in ter- just in terms of uh, what Louis has been able to do with his career and in terms of the, his fame now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But, 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 come on, come on. In I don't know if this happens but, all no, across no. the I don't know if this happens all across the world. But here in South Africa. Yeah, here in South Africa. <laughs> if, if you, you drive fast. fast. <laughs> it's like, where's somebody? Who do you call <laughs> Mark? <laughs> I don't know if this is the way. Schumacher is not a name; it's a state of being. It's a, Schumacher it's is a action. title. If we call you Schumacher, you, you, we trust you with our lives to drive. <laughs> we, listen, I don't. I, I've never heard anyone say, "Yeah, Hamilton." Oh yeah, you yeah, put, Louis. No, if don't. we're gonna put it that way, then yeah, hundred percent. I get you. So, <laughs> like this, this is very difficult. Like, you, like this, like at any given time, you can have a list of like thirty in each category. And it w- the thing is, it wouldn't be wrong. It wouldn't be wrong. It wouldn't be wrong. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So All right. yeah. So that's uh, that's there's that list, and yeah, it's quite quite. But I think the top ten hardly changes for people who know sports. Yes. Yes. The top ten hardly changes for people who know sports, like know just them. like in your respective sports, the top ten would most likely be the same. Yeah, just same. Different different order. It's just different variations. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. So very quickly, how does MMA work? They beat each other up. They beat each other up. Is that it? Is that it? Is that what more do you want me to say? Okay, so we get in an octagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have, depending on what fight it is, yeah. if we're just two regular dudes, yeah. we have 15 minutes, three, 15 five minutes. minute rounds yeah, yeah. to knock each other's head off our shoulders or for me to make you tap or, for, or we have 15 minutes to just beat the living hell out of each other. That's what you guys want to do. Just like just kill each other. <laughs> Literally. And after that, if if after 15 minutes, nobody actually managed to win. Yeah. Then that's when the judges get to make so a So like are there rounds? Like, uh... Yes. Three. So, so there's three, are there there's three, three five minute rounds. Okay. However, in, if it's the main event. So the so the two the main events the main yeah. event and the co main event yeah. all have five minute rounds. Yeah. And we call the, we they all have five rounds. Yeah. And we call those the championship round. Okay. The fourth and the fifth round, the championship round. What does that mean? They only happen for the main event. Okay, basically. but what if you don't make it to the championship round? 
hey, shout out. You managed to knock him out in two <laughs> rounds. <laughs> but how often do people go to, to championship rounds? Very often, actually. Okay. Very. So is it like 50% of the time, 60% of the time, 70% of the time? I'd say a good 50. 50% of the time? I'd oh, say 50, a good 50. 50 because also it can happen that, I'll give you an example. With, yeah. uh, in August 2022, Kamaru Usman yeah. fought Leon Edwards. Yeah. Now, Kamaru was on top of the world. Sure. Greatest welterweight of all time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 16 and 0, undefeated. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And he was winning. Bang. You're bad. Man. Bad. And then got in the ring with Leon Edwards. He beat Leon Edwards in their first fight. Yeah, yeah. Got in the octagon with him. He was winning the first round. Yeah, yeah. He was winning the fight, all yeah. five rounds. Yeah. There was no round where you could definitively say, I don't see, I don't see Kamaru not winning this yeah, yeah, yeah. after five rounds and if the judges make a decision i don't see how leon edwards wins this yeah in the last round the last minute of the last round knockout hit kick <whistles> hit kick put him to sleep night 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 just like that <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we call leon edwards rocky oh because yes. he endured towards the end and then bro wow bro imagine getting Beats. It's not about how hard beat. you hit. It's not about how hard you can get hit and ah, keep moving ah, forward. He kept moving forward. He kept and moving he just forward. Got, and you can't even say he got lucky. It was a perfectly executed Perfectly head executed kick. kick. Okay. Perfectly executed head kick. Put the champion to sleep. And funny enough, Kamaru hasn't won a fight since then. Oh, shame. Yeah, he's he, fought twice. He, he lost the rematch. He couldn't come back after adversity, hey? No, no, no. No, no shame. No, no, no. So, so. <laughs> so he lost the rematch. In five rounds, they yeah. made a decision. So essentially, that's MMA. So, so they've so, got they've so, got divisions. So they've got divisions like welterweight, super heavyweight, Fly, heavyweight. There's, bant- there's flyweight, bantamweight. What's bantamweight? Bantamweight is watch to watch the fight tomorrow, and you will see. Bantamweight is between flyweight and um, middleweight, okay. welterweight, welterweight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you no lightweight. Sorry. So there's flyweight, bantamweight, lightweight, welterweight, um, middleweight, yeah. light heavyweight. Yeah. Yeah. And heavyweight. Okay. And the women's, the straw weight as well. Straw weight? Yeah. The straw weight, there's women's fly weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy there. It's crazy there. Exactly. But So then, like, what are the different type of fighting styles that you can have? Because you talk about, like, you talk about striking, you talk about grappling. Yeah. There's So there's striking. Now, strikers are your conventional kickboxers. Okay. People, your boxers, maybe. They will most like they will most likely strike with you more. Yeah. So you'll have your Israel Adesanya, who's one of the, the best striker in the world, in my opinion. And what happened? Got put to sleep. <laughs> well, he got put to sleep. He tapped. And what tapped happened? Because he had a big Afrikaans arm under his neck. That's why. So. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> no DNA, just RSA. Yeah, yeah. And you have your wrestlers as well. Yeah, yeah. Who will either be your wrestlers or your grapplers? So grappling is. An umbrella term. Yeah, yeah. You could be a wrestler. You could be. You could be doing judo, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, BJJ. Y- yes, I learned that from you. I just yeah, yeah. BJJ. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Didn't you have a BJJ someone on your podcast a couple months back? Uh yeah. That's uh Caitlin Henny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She put me down outside. Yeah, yeah, remember. yeah. But that the, the she, wait, Is she a straw weight? Like I don't know what would she be. Uh, she's tiny. So probably. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Yeah, yeah. And then. You have your you that the great thing about it is the reason it's called mixed martial arts is yeah. because if you're gonna be a great fighter, you have to be a complete fighter. Yeah, that means your stand up, your your striking has to be great. Your grappling is your great. grappling has to be great. Yeah, and even if it's not great, we because we all know everybody's strong suit. Like yeah, yeah. John Jones, John Jones is the uh, goat. I was about to say like John Jones is John complete. Jones is the goat, but his striking is not the best. He he's good enough to strike with anyone, mm, mm. but even he knows that what works for me is my wrestling. Yeah. So most of his wins come from, from that. Oh, from making people tap, right? Yeah, like when he won the heavyweight title in March last year. Yeah, yeah. His first fight in three years after moving this up. Guy his is, this guy is bad, man. Like yeah, he's, he's a bad man. He's a bad man. No, I get why Dana White likes him so much, yeah. even though it's getting out of hand. Getting I out get, of hand. Yeah, Dana White. He's he's John Jones is the favorite child. Of course. Know? Yeah. So I, I mean, he's bringing in the bread. Not anymore. He hasn't fought in a year, and besides, well, that, he, he brought in the bread. Fine. He made uh, fine MMA uh, UFC quite more mm. global than it was. 
I wouldn't say that's John Jones. I'd say that's maybe O'Connor's in him. Well, yeah, but then you wanted to kill me when I say Conor McGregor is the greatest UFC fighter of all time. Not even close. No, <laughs> not even close. Let's not even put him top five. I win. That's no. I-E. I win. I-E. I win. I'll, I'll, I'll put Amanda Nunez over Conor McGregor even. That, that's blasphemy, hey? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> so, John Jones came back and he beat Cyril Gunn in two minutes. Two minutes. Cyril Gunn was the number one ranked heavyweight in the world. John Jones beat him in two minutes. Why? Cyril Gunn is a striker. I wouldn't have finished my noodles by that. <laughs> literally. Literally. You know, I will never forget that fight because I was watching the fight on my phone. Yeah. But my Wi-Fi was trash and I was upstairs. I was like, okay, let me go downstairs. Maybe by then, maybe the Wi-Fi will be better then. Yeah. Literally, as I got up, I was like, oh, fight's over. Aibo. Klar. <laughs> <laughs> he Mike Tyson did. That's what happened. Bro. So, Cyril Gunn was the number one ranked heavyweight. In yeah. the world and he's a great striker probably yeah. the greatest striking heavyweight i've ever seen yeah yeah and john jones just ah, come here put his arms night, on night. him put him down neck neck grabbed his neck and put him to sleep and shame yeah, shame that was that was dead so it's there's a whole bunch of fighting styles that come in that so, come in so when so, you train yeah so that's why they announce fights months in advance so you can train for it you can train for it you have your training camp that's when now you'll start cutting weight You'll start making sure that your weight is nice. You go with all of that to lose in two minutes. Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I mean, Olympians, what, train four years to run for 10 seconds. So just to, just to be at the back, just to be behind vaults doing this. Yeah, but it's different It's different <laughs> than getting knocked out. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather be behind you saying than get put to sleep, bro. Yeah, that's respectful. That's, that's, that's respectful. Yeah, because now we look at you and say... Hey, you better shut up before I call that dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to call John Jones. Yeah, I'm going to call John I'm Jones call John on you. You better shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. The, the training camp just gets very hard. Yeah. And you have to work on your game. If you know that I'm fighting a grappler, chances are you will try to improve your grappling, but also make sure your striking is yeah, up yeah, to par. Yeah. You will need to come up with a game plan. If I'm fighting a grappler, I need to keep him off me and maybe keep him on his feet and keep him away from mm. me. So, there's a lot. It's, it's, a, it's all very technical. So then you're the perfect, who's the perfect fighter? Because, I mean, like, hmm. like, let's say someone has come to me and said, you need to pick one male fighter. Demetrius Johnson. I haven't even finished, but anyway, you have me pick. <laughs> you, we're about to kill you, your entire family, yeah. and we're about to raise every, all of your ancestors as well. Like, you, your yeah. entire lineage would not have existed. Yeah, and I, I need to pick one man to And then, And then also, also... We can make Rafael Nadal win the 2022, 2012 Australian Open final and stop you from Quit crying. It. Quit it. Quit <laughs> it. You lost. You cried. It's fine. <laughs> what are we doing? How? Oh. I'm just being oh. petty. Rafael so. Nadal. <laughs> oh. Damn. How did we bring Rafael Nadal into this? We're talking MMA. I know. I know, right? I know, right? Um, uh. So, like, someone, like, the entire Earth's existence is on yeah. the line. And you need to pick one fighter. Mm. Who will fight against the aliens? They're gonna take over the world, Independence pound Day for, style, pound for pound. We're talking about pound for pound with that one fighter. Um, and why? I'd say you said Demetrius Johnson. Demetrius Johnson, but now I'm thinking George Saint Pierre, GSP, GSP, because I've seen him strike enough. I've seen him grapple, but now nah, I'm going Demetrius Johnson. Demetrius Johnson, and why? You're not John Jones, not, not John Anderson Jones. So John, I don't trust his no, striking. Not, oh, you don't trust his striking, but I he's trust the goat, his but wrestling. He's the, but he's the goat, though. Yeah, yeah, well, it's because he managed the goat. The goat here is about did you win the fight? Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 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 you say Demetrius Johnson will give you the better chance of winning. He's the best all, fighter I've ever seen in all circumstances. Okay, yes. all right. What's his uh, what's his style? Is he a striker? Is he a grappler? Is he hey, man, a mixture of both? Fighter, that man. He's a what? He's a freestyle fighter. He's a freestyle yeah. fighter. What does that even mean? Ah, he mixes it up, dog. He's very good. Okay, he's so very good. But I actually don't know. I will check that out for you. I don't know what his style is. Is he a BJJ guy? Is he? I know he's not BJJ. No, nah, no, nah, okay, no. Nah. But Demetrius Johnson is the most complete fighter I've ever seen. Okay, I see. Yes, I see. Fighter, short, short, tiny dude, probably shorter than me. That's why they call him Mighty Mouse. Mighty. Mouse. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, but he's a great fighter. So, the best I've, I've seen. All right. So as we wrap up, mm-hmm. top five male UFC fighters, mm-hmm. top five female UFC fighters. Because my top five uh, female UFC fighters mm-hmm. is Amanda Nunes, Amanda mm-hmm. Nunes, Amanda Nunes, Amanda Nunes, Amanda Nunes. You are so correct. 
<laughs> All right. Yep. So males. Amanda Nunez. Okay, so females, yeah, cool. Amanda Nunez, Ronda Rousey. Yeah. Cyborg. Shevchenko. Oh, yeah, you were talking about Shevchenko. Yeah, yeah, Shevchenko. And she got a fight coming up, right? Tomorrow, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Tomorrow. And uh, hmm. Holly Holmes. Holly Holmes. Holly Holmes. Well, okay, the one who put Ronda to sleep. Put her to sleep. Night, night. So, okay. Nunez, Rousey. And is this in specific order? Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Nunez, Rousey, Cyborg, Shevchenko, Holmes. All right, cool. Yeah. Give us the males. John Jones, GSP, Anderson Silva, Demetrius Johnson. Conor McGregor. Aye. Demetrius. <laughs> just out of respect, I'll put Khabib there. Oh, Khabib. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's talk now. Let's talk. Yeah, let's talk let's now. Let's talk, eh? talk now. No, that was badass, bro. That was badass. He was beating this dude. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, let's talk now, eh? Thought, that was pretty cool. I loved him for that. Oh, I loved awesome, him and that. Then he retired and he's living a respectful life. And I gave you what I love. Yeah, he's coaching now. Is he coaching now? He's, yeah, he coach. He currently coaches a couple of fighters. Yeah. The most notable being Islam Makachev. Okay. Now, that's important because Islam Makachev is now, you could say, the best you the best fighter in the world. Oh, is it? Yeah, he just defended his title against Dustin Poirier at UFC 305, okay. actually. And he won by, not no, not knockout submission in the fourth round yeah yeah and he's really good he's ranked number one pound for pound right now so he might even be a better fighter than khabib when it's all said oh is it oh that's good yeah that, mean, that means khabib is doing his job right yeah because khabib is a great wrestler yeah the, all them all those dagestan boys are mm. but khabib is a great wrestler his striking was always not necessarily the greatest even when he did strike it looked awkward yeah not islam islam will get you on the ground islam will strike with you his last defense before this was against a man named Alexander Volkanovsky. Who Volkanovsky. Is, yeah, yeah. yeah, who is the greatest flyweight. No, not flyweight. Um, Bantam. No, no. What's after Bantamweight? What's after Bantamweight? I don't know. You're the expert here. I think it's flyweight. All right. I could be wrong. I need to get my facts right. But Alexander Volkanovsky is the GOAT in his division. Is it? And he got put to sleep by a boy named Ilya Tuporia. But that's another conversation. He got put to sleep again by Islam Makachev months before that mm-hmm. when he was trying to get a double double champion status. Yeah, yeah. And he was trying to get the lightweight title from yeah, yeah. Islam Makachev. And this was the second time. In the first fight, he held his own, made it all the way through five rounds. It was a split decision. Yeah, yeah. Which made us think, oh, this dude is really, really good. He's a bad man. And then he took the next fight on two weeks' notice because Charles Oliveira was supposed to fight Islam Makachev. Charles Oliveira got hurt. Mm-hmm. And that's when Volkanovski stepped up on two weeks' notice. Yeah. And he got put to sleep in the second round. Head kick. Aibo. Head kick. Yeah. Yeah. So Islam Makachev is really good. You you guys are very violent with the sport, hey? Uh, that's why you watch. That's why you watch. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's us uh, from this episode of the NJ Podcast. We went through the good females and good males. I know a lot more about uh, the UFC now. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go. I'm going to buy the game. And then play that. You need, you need to teach me soccer. Football. And tennis. Football and tennis. I already know football. I need uh, soccer. <laughs> <laughs> well, that day is going to be football. That day. Just you know that what? day. Fine. Just that Fine. day. That's Fine. just that day. It'll be football. Fine. And then uh, tennis. Yeah. We'll, we'll get chat about tennis. And next, but next week, when I'm not done with you, you need to teach me about the NFL. Because I, I don't know. There's only one name that matters and you know it quite well. Someone love? <laughs> Thomas Edward Patrick, Patrick Brady, Brady Jr. Jr. Yes, I'm never betting against him. Never, I'm never betting never. against him. Unless you're Rob Parker. All right, uh, guys, that's us for this episode on the NJ podcast. Remember that I'm with Mukundi Mudal. He's got his own show. He talks sports. He loves talking sports. If it's not uh, uh, tennis, cricket, boxing, soccer. soccer you see the disrespect. Yeah, see the chess. You know esports. Esports. What else? So Hopscotch. I don't know what. So Break dancing. <laughs> Shout out Australia. <laughs> Did you see that she's ranked the number one break dancer in the world? world. I... <laughs> oh, if, listen, if she can do that, you can achieve your dream. I'm 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 playing football in the next. <laughs> I'm gonna be in the world 2026 World Cup. 
Yeah. That's what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, let's work on our dreams. <laughs> let's work on our dreams. <laughs> I'll be watching the World Cup. What am I doing playing? All right. So we'll see you on another episode. His episode is, is dropping. By the time you see this video, probably would have dropped already. And remember that success is a progressive realization of where the ideal. And that means you're going off what you've always wanted to go after because it's aligned with your highest values on its own way. You can truly live a truly fulfilled and inspired life. And we will see you on the next episode. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this episode on the NJ Podcast. Make sure to visit the website at the njpodcast.captivateair.fm where you can subscribe to the show in iTunes, Stitcher, all the other podcast platforms or via RSS so you never miss a show. You can also find the video content on the YouTube channel and Instagram page. That will be in Jablo James on YouTube and jablo.j.ngosi for Instagram. Please subscribe and follow on those platforms as well. And while you're at it, if you found value in the show we'd appreciate a rating on the podcast platforms or if you'd like to tell a friend about the show that will help us out too if you'd like more information about published or upcoming books visit www.njablojames.com for more information please reach out if you'd like to share what you would like to hear and which guests should be invited to the show and remember success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal which means that you are doing what you have always wanted to do because it is aligned with your highest values and this is the only way you can live a truly fulfilled life now just chill until the next episode